afternoon everyone from the dressing room which is still not finished oh my goodness honestly there is just not enough time in the weekends to get these jobs done um i'm really hoping that <laughs> i feel like i say this all the time but i really just want to get this room finished now you can see from this section here that this door is still white this side's nice though so bear with me it's all a process but I am just in the dressing room because firstly, I need to sort out a lot of clothes. I've been filming this morning and there are clothes everywhere. Also, I have a very exciting event this evening. I'm heading into London for what feels like the first time in weeks. I actually cannot remember the last time I went into London, which is so weird, but I wouldn't miss this evening for the world. I'm going for a celebratory dinner to commemorate the launch of the Astrid and Mew Christmas advent calendars, the Christmas dinner. I am so looking forward to it. And yes, I am saying Christmas and we are in October, but if anyone works in fashion, retail, marketing, PR, you start thinking about Christmas way, way, way before. I remember I used to work at Next. It was my first ever job. I was 16 and I was a Christmas temp and I actually started in October and we started planning the Boxing Day sales in November in the store and it blew my mind. I had no idea that you would start talking about it that soon. And that's not even that early because filming campaigns for brands and Christmas collections, that starts way back in like spring, summer. So tonight is going to be really lovely. I mean, it's not going to be that Christmassy. It's more just a really nice dinner to all get together. There's loads of girls going that I know and love. Nadia is going to be there. George is going to be there. And probably loads of other girls that I know really well in the industry. And of course, the Astrid and Mew team, which is always lovely to see them. So I'm really looking forward to it, but I have no idea what to wear. I haven't been to an evening event in London for such a long time that I need to kind of get my city evening cap on and think of an outfit. On a side note, I am so... I think I mentioned this a little bit on Monday's video, but I am so unhappy with my hair at the moment. I don't know what to do with it. I feel like it's got to a point where it's just got really long and it has got quite thick, don't get me wrong. Like I'm quite happy with how it's grown and the thickness and I don't have any extensions in anymore, but I just don't know what to do with it. I curled it early this morning, so it's kind of just like done its thing all day, but it just feels really meh. I can't explain it. I'm just not 100% happy with it. I think I need to have some kind of style cut into it or I need to add a little bit of depth. I think the colour, I mean as much as I love my natural colour, I had balayage for a long time and I actually went very blonde at one point. So you can kind of see that the bleach that's left in my hair almost leaves it like a little bit orangey in some lights. So yeah. I don't know what to do. Any advice would be fabulous. What do you think I should do with my hair? I love it and I definitely feel really happy with how it is, but I don't know. I need to be ready in about an hour, so I'm gonna do a big tidy up, prep some outfits, and then we can head into London. Okay, the dressing room is tidy. I've put all the clothes away, all the washing away, and the robe is on. I got this robe. I actually don't even think I've shown you this yet. I got this from a seller on Etsy. I cannot remember the name of the company, but I will leave this linked below. I absolutely love it. You guys know I wear my Soho home dressing gown all the time, and I love that, but I wanted something really lightweight that I could just throw on when I'm filming. Often in a day when I'm filming, I'll be wearing hundreds of outfits all in one day, and I like to have something easy to throw on in between looks, Sometimes I'll edit reels or TikToks in between filming just so I kind of know how it's looking. Um, and I wanted something really lightweight, airy, I can just throw it on, it's really easy to wear. And I picked this up and I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a, I would say it's like a Twill de Joy um, print, but it's a little bit different. It's kind of got like palm trees on 
and little tigers and I just really really love it on me it is super long um but I am quite small but it's just really serving its purpose well I love that the sleeves are quite short as well so when I'm doing my hair and my makeup it really doesn't get in the way but anyway time to plan some outfits for the evening I've just tried to do my hair and I think I'm just gonna have my hair off my face tonight it's really getting in my on my nerves and I've just literally chucked it up in a ponytail and I think I might add a bow because I am loving a bow and I think it's quite nice to have a black velvet bow for evening occasions sometimes. Now my first thought was to do a black blazer. It is really warm today, I think it's about 23 degrees. We are right into October which is just crazy so it's probably going to be quite warm when I'm on my way but on my way home it's probably going to be freezing so I'm kind of factoring all of that in I want to wear heels we need to have a think my first thought was do I go for a dress because this is going to be quite airy and I could probably style this up a little bit for the evening um, I could probably wear some heels with this a belt a blazer and it's quite a simple one this is a really old dress from Zara I absolutely love this so much the only problem is it is quite see-through so I have to wear a slip skirt underneath so this is an option my second thought is that I go for something a little bit more chilled and I do trousers with a smarter top and heels just so it's a little bit more paired back um, so I was thinking maybe black or leather I could really do with these handles on here now. I think I need to get Jack to screw those on at the weekends. <laughs> okay, I've got the dress on. I do love this dress and I am wearing black underwear right now, but you can kind of see it's pretty see-through. So there will be a slip skirt going under here. Um, but I just thought I'd try this on and see how it's looking. I'm gonna pop my Celine belt. I kind of wanna do monochrome. I think I want to go for white and black this evening. So we've got the black Celine belt. Shoe wise, I think I'm gonna go for the Dior heels just because they are so comfortable and they look really elegant and they're just my favorite shoes in the world. And then I've also got this blazer, which I've had for a good few years now and I just absolutely love it. It's kind of like a boucle tweed blazer, but it's quite fitted and I love the gold buttons. I don't know if this is a bit too dressy I think this is just a bit too fancy. Let's try option two. Obviously, I'm going for the staple Lily Silk trousers. These just work for everything. I just absolutely love them. I probably do need a little bit of an iron before I decide for sure, but I'm gonna go for the same Celine belt. I also have got the Dior heels on still, just to dress it up a little bit. Okay, and then we've obviously got the blazer, which when it's on the shoulders, I think that looks really, really lovely. Just very simple, minimal, comfortable, but I think with the heels, I really like this actually, and I think with the hair bow, popped in the ponytail this is going to look really nice so i'm going to take these trousers off give them an iron and i also need to add some jewelry in true lauren style i've changed outfits three times and i'm now wearing something completely different but i just felt like i was playing it too safe and i wanted to wear something a little bit fancier and something that makes me feel really really lovely rather than just really simple so this is your sign if you often go for the easier option and something that feels very comfort zone break the mold wear the new dress wear something a little bit more fancy so i am wearing this cardigan is purely just for when i'm cold later but i am wearing this dress from amazon which i got i think in march time i got it for spring summer and to be honest i only really wore it once or twice and I don't know why, because I absolutely love this dress so much. If it's still in stock, I will leave it linked below. I 
just love it and I think funnily enough this print is very similar to that dressing gown I was wearing earlier Toil de Joy, it's like a soft grey colour. I love this neckline. I feel like this is perfect for a dinner because when I'm sat down, I'm really comfortable. I can eat loads and not be worried about tight trousers. It just feels really elegant, but it does also still feel quite casual at the same time. So I've just popped this on. I've changed my hair bow for a cream one. And necklace is Nice Cream London, my little pearl. I've got my vintage Gucci watch and my welded bracelets from Astrid Amu, which I never take off. In my ears, I've just popped in a couple of little huggies from my A&M advent calendar. And then obviously I've got my Massimo Duty cardigan, just because I, a jacket doesn't really look right with this dress. So I thought this would be good to just pop on my shoulders. And you can't see my shoes, but I've had these for a while. These are from Zara, and they're the perfect little mini heel to wear for occasions like this when I'm going into London. I'm gonna be walking about. I wanna wear a heel, but not necessarily a high one. These are perfect, and I think they just tie this outfit together really nicely. Only thing I need to do though is change my bag because I was planning on bringing this and this just does not go. So I'm gonna have to unpack and repack my bag. I think I'm gonna bring my Givenchy Antigona bag because that's white and it will go quite nicely. And I'm ready to go and I think Grace is gonna be here in about 10 minutes. So that was a very quick turnaround, but I am now ready for tonight's dinner and I actually love my outfit. I feel so much more put together. I feel like I've made a little bit more of an effort than just a tank top and trousers. And yeah, let me know what you think. Would you have gone for this one or would you have gone for the previous one? To be honest, that previous outfit is something that I would wear so much. It's like a fail safe outfit, but I just feel a little bit more dressy in this. I just love it. It's really feminine. Yeah, very pleased. My fragrance of the evening, I'm just wearing the Lilabo, the Matcha, which has been my kind of like everyday fragrance for a while now and I love it. So, change the bag, get in the car, head to the station. I will see you in London. Okay, I have made it into London and I am heading in a taxi to the venue for this evening's dinner. I actually don't know how to pronounce the name of this restaurant but it's on Mount Street in Mayfair. I will show you the restaurant but I, I was just looking on the Instagram on the train and it looks absolutely incredible so I'm really excited to see it and I actually think that my outfit ties in quite nicely with the interiors so hopefully it was a good outfit choice but I'm gonna be a little bit early so I'm gonna meet Nadia outside beforehand and I think we're just gonna grab a drink somewhere or something because dinner doesn't start till seven and it's only six and we've got a little while to kill. But yeah, I thought I'd update you and I just, every time I'm in London, I cannot believe how busy it is everywhere. I just find it crazy, like 6 p.m. on a Tuesday night. Usually I'm in my pajamas ready to go to sleep and so many people are still out like living their lives. <laughs> anyway, I will catch up with you when we get there. this morning I've had a shower I've put a really lovely nourishing hair treatment in it's from Redken I'll leave it linked below 
think it's called the acidic bonding treatment wow my hair feels incredible i blow dried it all just really straight and then i actually used the air wrap the little air wrap tool to curl it and then i've pin curled it so i'm hoping my hair is going to stay in all day fingers crossed because today is another busy day i'm in london today and i'm not heading in for a couple of hours just yet but i've got a really lovely afternoon with some really gorgeous brands and people and i'm really looking forward to it but I'm very aware that I didn't vlog a whole lot last night. Do you know what? We got to the dinner. The restaurant was incredible. Oh my goodness, it was stunning. And every single Astrid and Miu dinner I go to, I am just surrounded by so many beautiful, wonderful people. And I was sat in between my two best friends, Nadia and Georgia. We were also sat with Maya, who is stunning. She actually just got married, so we were chatting about her wedding and everything like that. She works at Sheer Lux, and I just love her. And we were also sat with Amelia, who is from Astrid and Mew. And we just had the nicest evening, eating gorgeous food, chatting. It was just so lovely, but I didn't really pick up my camera much, but... Usually when you go to like a brand dinner, you receive a little gift. So I thought I would show you what I received. Firstly, I got this really adorable note. How stunning is this? Absolutely beautiful illustration of one of their shops. Hey Lauren, thank you so much for coming to our first advent calendar dinner. We hope you enjoyed the evening, surrounded by friends, good food and team A&M spilling all the exciting news coming up in 2024. We're so excited to gift you one of our 14 karat solid gold necklaces to treasure forever. The A&M team have loved working with you over the years and we're looking forward to continuing in the future. Best wishes, Amelia and team A&M. I have literally worked with Astrid and Mew since the beginning. I honestly think they were one of the first brands that I did a proper paid collaboration with. So. It must be about five, six years I've worked with them for, and I've done shoots. I've worked with them on campaign shoots, e-com. I have recently done the YouTube video and obviously like Instagram content and things like that. I just have such a special place in my heart for the whole team and the brand. I just love everything they do. So it feels really special to be surrounded by them all. But you might have heard me mention the 14 karat gold necklace. And that is what I love about Astro Mew. Whatever your price point, they have something for everyone. And I've actually got Jack's mum and Jack's sister onto the brand and they have now gone there for piercings. They love the welded bracelets and they always buy little earrings and bits from them. And I'm just so happy because it's such a nice way to share a brand when it's so organic and I just genuinely love them so much. I'm always purchasing bits from them for Christmas, for my brother's girlfriend, and just all the women in the family that I know love dainty, sparkly jewels, the same as me. <laughs> so this necklace is super special. It's 14 karat gold, and it's actually my birthstone. So I'm born in April, so my birthstone is a diamond. How absolutely stunning is this? Just super dainty really really minimal i feel like this is such a lovely addition to my collection i love simple a little bit sparkly a little bit of something but really dainty jewelry so i'm really excited to add this into my jewelry collection really looking forward to today it's quite blustery outside i feel like it's going to be a little bit chilly so i'm excited to wear a very nice autumn outfit think I'm gonna wear some chocolate brown today. So I'm heading over to meet the Blocks and PR team, which I'm so excited about because they look after all of the brands that I love and wear all the time. Jules, Shuffle, Chamo Wellies, basically my countryside wardrobe. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've never met the team before, so that'll be really lovely. And then I'm heading over to Jo Malone for a really lovely couple of hours later on in the afternoon to discover a new autumn fragrance. So lots going on. Hoping my hair's gonna hold up. I mean, I look a bit crazy, but fingers crossed it works. So breakfast, filming, and then we can get dressed. Outfit of the day. Do you know what I really need to do is get some kind of full length mirror downstairs because 
I have moved the mirror that was in the hallway where I used to show you my outfit of the days. I've moved it into the office and I just didn't really like it by the door. Um, I want to kind of like do something with that area, but I have nowhere else to put one. And when the office is done, that'll be great because I can then show you my outfit of the day in the office. But right now it's an absolute building site, so it's not the best place. So for now, this is what we're doing, but I am wearing and other stories, brown suit trousers. I feel like I've spoken about these so much, but I just love them. I've just got a little tank top on because it's not super cold today. I was gonna wear a knit, but to be honest, with rushing around in London, I think I'm gonna get too hot. And then I've just got my wool checked and other stories again, blazer on, which I love. Um, I've also got a little belt. I can't remember if I've shown you this before, but I've actually had this belt for ages. I got this for Christmas from my mum. It was from Massimo Duty, and I just love it. I was unpacking a lot of my bits um, the other day, my accessories, and I rediscovered this, and I love it. It's kind of like a little horse bit, kind of chunky. I think it goes really nicely with these tones. And then I've got little boots on. These are actually my knee-high boots, but I've got them under my trousers because they've got the perfect heel very little and they're just so comfortable for all day and I'm going to take the brown chocolate bag so yes this is the outfit of the day I thought I would bring a big bag today because if I do buy anything I can chuck it in here and I just don't need to worry about holding anything and that is me oh also my perfume of the day funnily enough I'm actually going to an event with Joe Malone today but I also sorted out all of my perfumes that I hadn't unpacked yet and that is actually tomorrow's job. I'm going to organize and sort out all of my accessories and all my beauty products. Um, but I dug out an old favorite because all the perfumes I had out were quite summery um, and I wanted something that was gonna be really nice for autumn. This is my absolute favorite scent for autumn winter. I love it. I got this last year at the airport actually. Um, we were coming back from Cyprus in early October and I picked this up. It's the Myrrh and Tonka Joe Malone scent. When I tell you this just smells so luxurious, it's a very kind of sultry, almost like a little bit musky and spicy, but still very feminine. I'm just obsessed with it. So that is in the bag. Haven't got too much in the bag. I've got my diary, which I love. I always carry this around with me. A little Denman hairbrush, the best hairbrushes by the way. I've got a letter that I need to take round to Jack's family's house. Loads of lip products. My card holder, which I've had for years, this is a little YSL one. I really want to get a new purse. Um, potentially I might buy one for myself for Christmas. Maybe I'll actually have a look at them today because I really want something a bit bigger because I have a lot of cards and I always carry cash and things like that. So I need something a bit bigger. Headphones so I can listen to a podcast on the train. And that's about it in my bag. I will also add my camera, but yeah, this is my outfit of the day, ready to head into London. I'm really looking forward to today. I thought potentially after a late night, I'd be feeling a little bit tired, but I'm not at all. I have so much energy. Like I'm very excited for today. So let's go to London. Right, I am now in London, clip-clopping my way along the street. These shoes are so noisy. Um, I'm about two minutes away, I think it's at the end of this road. So first stop is Bloxham PR Media Day. I'm very excited. I've been having a little stalk of their stories. Oh, I'm here, amazing. I have just had a little tour of everything. Oh my goodness. My shopping list is so long. Everything is incredible. So I really want to show you some bits that I have my eye on. Okay, first up, jewels. We were just discussing how they've had a little bit of like a resurgence with 
countryside where rather than kind of like the coastal theme so they've had a little bit of a rebrand and oh my goodness look at this cape this is actually a little similar to Nadia's cape the Holland Cooper one that I showed you but I feel like this is a bit better for colder days you can really layer this up and it's got little poppers down the side oh honestly I'm obsessed with this I think this is going to be added to my wardrobe imagine this with like skinny jeans leggings knee-high boots wellies I absolutely love it even just these jackets the tweed oh, I'm just obsessed gorgeous little chunky knit you can't go wrong with one of these this is like my autumn wardrobe when I'm at home by the fire such a dream I just absolutely love the fit of these blazers as well how it just really cinches you in at the waist so gorgeous and I love how they've styled this with the little shirt detail at the top as well that's so beautiful and you could even bring out like a little ruffle sleeve at the end there okay moving on to shuffle which I always call shuffle but I have now learned that it's Shoful. This is stunning. I'm so obsessed with this tweed, kind of like camely caramel colour. It's so beautiful. Lovely little skirt, the coat. And then we also have all of the menswear bits, which I don't know if you can see this properly on camera, but Jack actually has this jumper and he is obsessed with it. So it's his birthday soon and I'm basically shopping for his birthday i think this would be so nice in his wardrobe and this blazer so i'm gonna add that to my list and then we also have hicks and brown which do the most beautiful fedoras and i have my eye on this because it's kind of like a wax material similar to like a wax jacket so the rain is just gonna fall straight off this i feel like that is such a good one for especially in the uk and I just love these. Jack's actually just bought one of these um, in navy and I love this colour. I feel like that's beautiful. And then we have Le Chameau, the wellies and my water. These are just such a statement. I feel like I need these. I feel like I really need a pair of Le Chameau wellies in my wardrobe because they are just so practical and I really love this almost like dark brown black colour. I feel like it's not really showing up on camera but it's kind of like a chocolatey khaki. It's so gorgeous to like a classic welly. And then also these ones which I did spot on their Instagram. They have a zip all the way down so you can actually do these up so easily such a brilliant design and obviously it's a welly so you know it's got to be practical also the sherpa lining oh what a dream right i am en route to the jo malone townhouse for a very festive afternoon and i am really looking forward to it i have no idea who's going so i'm a little bit nervous but it should be really nice so i'm gonna bring you with me Oh, amazing! <laughs> well, amazing. This is great. This is that, yeah, that experience. 
experience of like flooding the kitchen with that scent. Um, and it's got like that, it's still got that energy and zest of ginger that you you get through the top parts, but it's um, it's almost a more gentle, warm sort of nutmeg and cinnamon in the heart, and then it's got this little cuddle of like a tonka bean and vanilla in the base. It's just incredibly gourmand and delectable, but it's very wearable and elegant at the same time. from the event to home. I cannot believe how long that was. The traffic in London was crazy. But I'm home, so there's no problems. Pajamas are on, slippers are on, the oven is on. We're having lasagna this evening. Just super easy. I got it from m &S at the train station. I just wanted something to like chuck in the oven and not think about it. But before I end the vlog, I thought I would give you a little debrief on the event because I didn't really speak that much and also show you what I took home. The event was so lovely and we actually were making gingerbread houses and oh my goodness, I was so bad. I think I was the only person at the entire event and you would have seen how big the table was, how many people were there that didn't take their gingerbread house home and that is purely because mine collapsed completely collapsed near the end and it was just a pile of all the pieces and I just I didn't take it home because I said I can't take it home it's not even a gingerbread house and it was very disappointing I thought I was going to be quite good at it but definitely not my talent so I have no gingerbread house to show you but I do have some very exciting goodies so we were at the townhouse today. The Joe Malone townhouse is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. We were there to celebrate the new limited edition collection for Christmas. How stunning is this box? Oh my goodness. It's all kind of like gingerbread land vibes. So you've got the candy cane, ribbon, the gingerbread box. This is so beautiful. You know I love brown. So I'm gonna be keeping this box because I just think it's stunning. I haven't opened this yet, so I'm very excited to see what's inside. Ooh, okay. This is what we have been given. So, firstly, we have pomegranate noir diffuser, which is heavenly. This scent is so gorgeous, and it was actually the first Jo Malone scent I ever got years ago from an airport when I was probably like 15. Oh, it just smells like Christmas. So I am going to be saving this ready for when we put all the Christmas decor up and I switch out the fragrances. This is going to be my Christmas scent for the house. And then we have the new cologne. This is Ginger Biscuit. How adorable is this? I love the brown bottle, the little stripe bow. So adorable. I haven't smelt this yet, so I'm very excited to. I feel like I need to let that. Wow, that is stunning. Let me see what this says. A deliciously irresistible scent spiced with ginger, nutmeg, and cinnamon, melting into caramel, butter, crumbly, 
with roasted hazelnuts warmed by tonka bean and vanilla. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. They also have brought back a lot of their old favorites. So you've got the orange bitters, pine and eucalyptus, and also the green almond and red currant as well. So all the festive favorites are back. That really smells incredible. Oh my goodness. I think that's gonna be my new Christmas scent. When we're kind of like in the lead up to Christmas, I think that is gonna be incredible. Oh, thank you so much to the lovely girls at Jo Malone for this afternoon. It was just so lovely. And I'm so excited because I sat next to another blogger who is actually from Kent and I'm so excited about it. She was so lovely and we had a huge chat. I literally felt like I'd known her for so long. So I'm really excited to be meeting up with her. We were saying we must go for coffee and we don't have to come into London, we can just meet so local. So I'm really excited about that. And obviously I went to block some PR, which was such a treat. Oh my goodness, so many things that I really want. That cape from Jules was stunning and definitely on my wish list. Also, I really love those chocolate brown Le Chameau wellies. But they gave me a little goodie bag on my way out, so I thought we could have a little look. I've got a can of Pinot Grigio wine. This, wow, this is a brand called Tread Softly. It's an Australian wine, and this is vegan friendly, minimal preservatives, naturally lighter in alcohol, and it's sustainably grown. How beautiful is this illustration on the packaging? I have, oh my God, this is so cute. I have some little socks from Shuffle, or actually Shoffle is how you're supposed to say it. Little green spaniel socks, adorable. I also have the Shoffel Autumn Winter Collection magazine, which I am gonna have a read of this evening because me and Jack both love the brand and it's his birthday soon. So I'm gonna see if he wants to pick anything out. What is this? Oh, a little Le Chameau box. Oh, cute. Okay, this is a little bottle of Normandy apple and Moroccan spice gin. That packaging look at that that is just stunning i love these little gifts they are just so thoughtful okay and then we have what are these <gasps> oh my god i have got dog treats beautiful joe's ethical dog treats 100 natural tasty lamb and then we also have a little tin so you can obviously put your treats in the tin and have it in your pocket on dog walks do you know what i'm gonna keep this out and show this to jack later and say all the signs are pointing at the fact that we need to get a dog guys i'm so desperate to get a dog you guys always comment on my videos and say i think you need to get a dog and i am so desperate we actually did find a dog that we loved and we were going to view it and Jack actually had to go to work that day, so we were gonna postpone it, and then he said, I'm just not 100% sure yet, and anything that we do, we both have to be 100% sure. I would never do something without him knowing, or if we're both not 100%, so yeah, not just yet. Potentially next year, but oh, I would just love a dog this year, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. We also can't really agree on a breed of dog either he absolutely loves labradors and you may know already that his family have a bocca which is a beagle slash cocker spaniel and they also have a black lab and he is adorable but he is very big and i feel like because this is our first dog together i think a labrador as much as i love them and i would love a labrador too i just think it's a little bit too big to start with um so yes i mean ideally i would love to have two dogs so they can be friends so i think we need to start off with a little bit more of a medium small dog and then go up to the big dog but anyway i feel like that's a conversation for another day and if you've made it this far in the vlog comment down below your favorite dog breed or what dog you have if you have a dog because i would love to know 
I'm going to end the vlog there. I feel like this has been quite a long one. It's been very city focused. So I hope you've enjoyed something a little bit different to just me being in the house. And I will see you on Monday for another video. And Monday's video is a very exciting one. So see you soon.